we felt it was very important that Bill uh, have a, a young, a very young actor or actress to play off of. And he was very reluctant. He didn't really want to play with somebody under the age of 10 or 11. But we convinced him to, we wrote in this role of this, of this boy named Rudy. And um, then we started casting. We couldn't find a boy. We did find this girl. We had seen this commercial, a Del Monte commercial. There was this like incredibly wonderful person who just was all personality. It was like four in the commercial. So we asked her to read for the role of Rudy. Rudy ended up being Keisha Knight Pulliam, but we kept the name Rudy because this sort of was an inside joke. But Bill wasn't really thrilled about it, but I think once he met her, he saw the value of it. And uh, I think every role was some... We, we pre-read every role. Um, it was very interesting what happened during the casting process. Marcy and I talk about this. The, the role of Theo was some... Bill had a very uh, clear idea of what he wanted the character to be. And uh, everybody who came in to read read it in a very uh, television-y kind of way, like most actors. And he just wanted to some, have someone who would be much more natural. And you remember when, when Malcolm came in to read for it. And he saw that Malcolm was talented, but he was reading it in that kind of conventional pattern. And he just stopped him. And he said, let me ask you a question. Would you talk to your father like this? And he said, no. Well, then don't talk to me like this. Now read it like you're talking to your father. And then Malcolm read it in a much more honest way. And I think that that was a great lesson for us because Bill was all about honesty. If something was honest and nobody had a better um, uh, barometer for what was real and, and what was um, mm -hmm. honest than Bill Cosby, and that came through in the show. The show had this quality that you really did feel like you were watching an, a real family. And one of the things that Bill felt whenever he walked around the country and, and talked to people was people would say, how did you get into my living room? And there was just this quality that the show had that sort of popped through the, the homogeneity of television. He wanted a, uh, a wife who could speak Spanish. Yeah. We don't know why this is. He just decided he wanted a wife who could speak Spanish. And we ended up never using it, but it was, it was fortunate for us that Felicia Rashad knew Spanish. And so in the test scene, the, this character goes off and is speaking mm -hmm. Spanish. And thank God that, <laughs> that she knew how to speak Spanish. But we, we saw her on a tape because we were, we were um, sending casting. We had a very, very short time to do this. We started very late. Um, and so we sent casting people all over the country. Chicago and Atlanta and Boston and New York, whatever, to find people for this cast all at once. And we got tapes back all the time in the first um, wave of, of the casting process. And Felicia, we saw on tape from New York, and we just, we said, oh, God, she's good. She's good. And we looked at the thing, and we said, oh, my God, this, this woman would be perfect. She just had that strength about her, and she was fabulous. And so with fear and trembling, we, we called the casting director and said, Okay, call Felicia, she, she was Ayers. Felicia Ayers Allen at the time, call Felicia's agent and ask her, and ask if she can speak Spanish. And so the casting person did, and the answer came back, yes, she was raised in Texas, she speaks fluent Spanish. And we went, thank you, God. <laughs> what were the casting of Lisa Bonet as Denise? She was uh, what we needed, which was a feisty, sullen, uh, very natural actress. Um, was she 15 at the time, something like that? But uh, 16. But she was uh, terrific for the role because she was a, you could recognize a genuine teenager in that girl um, who could give Bill and Felicia some trouble. 